you feel disconnected from God right now, please, would you just listen to what I've got to say? I hear so often people say to me, Joe, I just don't feel like God is near to me. I feel like he's a million miles away. I feel like when I'm praying, it's like the heavens are like brass. I just can't, I can't feel God. It, it just feels like he's so far from me. And maybe it's because I'm a sinner and I've, I've committed these repetitive sins. Maybe that's why God is, is distant. And, and the Bible does say that, you know, um, if, if you're double-minded, don't expect to receive anything from God. If you are living with sin, which you're, you're covering and you're, you're choosing not to forsake, that could be one of the issues. But I think there's a lot of people, the main reason why they don't hear from God is because they don't put the work in. Can I say that to you? You see, if you look at anything in life, anything that's worth having, there's always work involved. In marriage, many of you will know, if you don't work at your marriage, it, it doesn't work, does it? If I can again say that, it's difficult marriage. Any marriage therapist will tell you, you need to put work in. Anyone who's built a, a massive big business and it's successful, they will tell you there was many late nights there was many nights staying up, working hard, many mornings, rising early, lots of hard work. Any man who's in the NBA, any footballer in the Premiership, they'll all repeat the same message. It was hard work that got me here. And actually, it's the same with our relationship with God. Now, the beautiful message of the Bible is that we don't work for our salvation. We don't have to do anything. We just rest. We just rest that Jesus Christ, when he said, it is finished, all those who come to me, I will not cast out. All who come to me and receive my name, I'll save them. That's the beautiful message of the Bible. We don't work for that. We, we cannot work our salvation. But the Bible does teach us that we are, if we draw close to God, he will draw close to us also. I mean, if I told you right now, uh, I've been away traveling for two months, I've been preaching around, and I didn't ring my wife once on all of this time away. You'd say to me, you're a terrible husband. Don't be surprised if your, your wife wants nothing to do with you. If you neglect your family, don't be surprised if, if, if you feel distant to them. Now, I haven't been away uh, preaching. Uh, I'm, I've not been invited anywhere, but no, all jokes aside. But the truth is this, I do know that if I put time in with my wife, our marriage is healthy and so it is with God. We've got to make time for God. We've got to protect our quiet times, our devotion. Now, for a long time, I did used to feel like my Christianity was just made up of being around Christians, you know, doing evangelism, going to church. I felt like a Christian when I did those activities. But when it was just me and the Lord, I really did feel like, am I just on my own here? What, what, what is this that everyone keeps talking about? This intimacy with the Lord God. And then I started to do this method and that's really what I want to tell you about. And it's called the Axe Prayer Method. If you've watched any of my videos on my main channel, on the Off The Curb channel, you'll probably know I've talked about this before. It's a very simple method and I think it'll help you. So, Axe, it's an acronym. The A stands for adoration. When I pray, I start by adoring God. I think about his attributes. Lord God, you are the creator. Look all around me. Right now here, these trees, they were made by you. They started as a tiny seed and you created them. This beautiful green grass, all of creation cries out that you are Lord. And I praise him. I praise him that he's a merciful God. I praise him at times that he is a God of wrath. He is a God of justice and he is to be feared and that he holds my, my very heartbeat in his hands right now. I'm alive right now. You are alive right now because God has given you permission to live. I praise him and I come before him and I adore him. Then the C is uh, confession. And I confess, I, I sort of go over the things yesterday. Typically, if I'm praying in the morning, I'll think of the things yesterday that I did, the, the sins. Yes, we are to, to keep short accounts and constantly if we sin, we say, Lord, forgive me. But I think it's helpful also to remember those sins and to confess them. 
Lord, I was, I was proud yesterday. Lord, I was jealous of that person. Lord, I, I lost my temper with my, my family. Lord, uh, I, I looked when I shouldn't at that person going by in the street. You know, we, we confess these things and we say, Lord, forgive me. And then I, I remind myself that by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm washed whiter than snow. Then we come to tea. Tea is for thanksgiving. And I just say thank you for all kinds of things, you know. Thank you that I can walk today. Um, thank you that, you know, my health is good today. Uh, thank you that uh, I've got two beautiful children at home. Thank you for a wife. Thank you, above all things, thank you that my name is written in heaven. Like Jesus rebuked his disciples when they were saying, you know, we're, we're able to cast out these entities. We're able to do this and that. We're doing all these amazing things. And Jesus said, no, don't rejoice in these things. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. So I make sure I do that every day. I thank him that I'm saved. Uh, I thank him um, for this ministry. Uh, I thank him that, this, that people are getting saved. Uh, I thank him for all kinds of things. And that's something that's so important that we are to, to count our blessings. And then S, the, the last letter of Acts, S is supplications where, uh, like the Bible says, he will supply our every need. And that's when I, I lift up my requests before the Lord God. Lord, I pray for that man who has a terrible health uh, problem at the moment. I pray for this person, uh, this person's baby who in the womb is not well at all. Lord, I pray that that baby would be born healthily. And no matter what the scientists say, no matter what the doctors say, Lord, you have the final say. Lord, I pray for everything that's going on, all the conflicts around the world, in Ukraine, in, in Russia, in Israel, Gaza, Armenia. Lord, please bring peace to these people. Lord God, I, I do pray that my ministry, this next video I'm making, would reach many people and souls would get saved. All these different things. You, you know these things. I don't have to share my particular prayer request, but you get the idea. And every day I try to do that. I seek to read the Bible and I seek to pray. And the way I do it is I, I walk because I find if I sit down um, I've got ADHD kind of brain where I, I'm so quick to, to think about different things and you know my mind will switch between tasks but I find if I walk I'm able to concentrate, I'm able to focus better and as I walk past particular sort of uh, landmarks if that makes sense, uh, people's houses or, or trees and that kind of thing I remember oh at that point yes I was praying for that person so I'll pray for them again now. And it helps you remember and it helps you to stay focused. So please do try the Acts method of prayer. If you've got another one, I know there's a, another one. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's the pray method, which is, um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there. I can't remember all of that. But whatever method you use, whatever works, just make sure you spend much time in prayer because prayer is where we draw close to God and we gain that closeness. And I know the days when some days I've had the privilege of being able to spend hours in prayer when I've taken a day off. And those days have been the most unforgettable days where I know that the Lord God has drawn close to me and it's almost as if I could reach out and touch my Saviour who has saved me. As you know by now, I'm trying to make videos as well as for unbelievers on my main channel, Off The Curb Ministries. I also make these sort of unscripted videos for Christians. Uh, so if you've not yet subscribed, please do. Uh, I really would love to see you again. And if you'd like to see a video all about the new year and being consistent in the new year, please click this video right now. God bless you all and thank you for watching.